Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to the first of our weekly January episodes about some of the little-seen fan-favorite characters of the Transformers universe. We're starting with Autobot double agent Punch, a.k.a. Counterpunch. The 1987 Transformers product line was one that was defined by the many different gimmicks and play features that the toys had. Unique among them was the Double Spy. Punch, an Autobot who could transform not just into a sports car, but into an entirely different second robot mode, which he used to operate undercover amongst the Decepticons under the name Counterpunch. Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky wrote profiles for both Punch and Counterpunch that dived into the character's psychology. Though he seemed outwardly cool and stoic, Punch was secretly a paranoid wreck due to the constant pressure of his extended undercover missions, which had resulted in his developing a split personality, with Counterpunch becoming the Mr. Hyde to Punch's Dr. Jekyll, a violent release valve for all of Punch's bottled-up tensions. Though he retained his Autobot allegiance, it was Punch's greatest fear that Counterpunch would one day take control of their shared mind and fully turn to the Decepticon side. But as intriguing as this premise was, it wasn't featured in any classic media. Punch didn't appear in the Marvel comic book, and his role in the Generation 1 animated series was limited to one brief scene in the final season, in which he used his counterpunch form to keep tabs on the Decepticon clones' pounce and wingspan, after he spotted them trying to plunder the vaults of Autobot City, leading to his most famous quote, with my Autobot counterpart. I've heard he's nearby. Real nearby. Punch did have a larger role in the Japanese exclusive animated series, The Headmasters, but there was no hint of a split personality in the Japanese version of the character. This Punch didn't appear to be particularly good at being an undercover agent, just barely concealing his secret from the Decepticons as he bumbled his way through missions. But still, he was able to acquire key information for the Autobots that earned them victory in battle multiple times. In particular, he discovered the location of Galvatron's weak spot, enabling the Autobot Headmasters to defeat the Decepticon leader for good. In the 30 years since Punch's introduction, the concept of a Transformer being able to turn into both Autobot and Decepticon forms has been revisited intermittently, with characters like the mercenary Double Dealer, Transformers Armada's Sideways, and Transformers Animated Shockwave. But Punch himself has spent most of this time limited to only tiny cameos and mansions here and there. In 2010, IDW Publishing talked about releasing a dedicated four-issue comic book miniseries about Punch, titled Legacy of Rust, but the project never materialized. Within the last decade, however, he has managed to get a few new toys through the efforts of the Transformers Collectors Club. The first, released in 2010, was made from the mould shared by the Transformers Universe Sunstreaker and Sideswipe figures. The toy had been engineered with two potential robot mode configurations, one for each of the Autobot twins, which made it a perfect candidate to become a new punch. It featured in a commercial for BotCon 2010, and would later serve as the inspiration for another undercover character, the Predacon secret police officer Wolfang, in the club's Beast Wars Uprising series in 2016. A second figure was released in 2017 as part of a club-exclusive set of toys who could combine to form the giant Wreckage. Retooled from the 2016 Combiner Wars Wheeljack figure, this toy had only one robot mode, Counter Punches, the story behind which was told through a series of club-exclusive comics and prose stories titled Of Masters and Mayhem. These stories give Punch a backstory as a former actor, and were the first media to finally tap the potential of his original profile, depicting him as suffering from blackouts and missing time as Counterpunch, now having truly taken on a life of his own and convinced that he was the original personality and that Punch was the fake, began taking control of his body and selling the Autobots out to the Decepticons. 
Preferring to die as an Autobot rather than live as a Decepticon, Punch managed to retake control long enough to expose his dual identity and let the Decepticons blast him. He was recovered by the Autobot Impactor, but the only way to save him was to have him rebuilt to remove his damaged Autobot robot mode, in the process fusing his two personalities together. His mind left a conflicting tangle of competing Autobot and Decepticon memories, the Outcast Counterpunch subsequently joined Impactor's new team of Wreckers and was engineered to combine with them into Wreckage to combat the apocalyptic threat of the Decepticon combiner Thunder Mayhem. Most recently in 2018, Punch finally got a brand new original mold toy as part of the Power of the Primes toy line, as an Amazon.com exclusive. While it's great to see the original Double Spy celebrated in this way, without a comic or cartoon to go along with it, it remains to be seen if Punch will ever break out and enjoy some real mainstream exposure, or if he's destined to remain a cult favourite. And those are the basics on Punch. Give this guy some love in the comments, and get ready for next week's look at a Decepticon with a short history. As always, hit like, hit subscribe, and if you can, please consider supporting the series on Patreon.